Hello everyone, welcome my fab teachers. I am so excited for you today because today is going to be a game changer. This video is going to teach you how to make your images clickable. That means you can link other videos or songs or worksheets to your images that you have on your virtual classroom. Very easy video, it's not gonna be long, so hang in there with me. The very first thing that you are going to do is you are going to highlight one of your images on your virtual classroom. Now, I have already given you an example of what that would look like after you have linked a video. So let's start with the fresh image. So let's click on an image you will see the editing box. Once you see that editing box, you will go over to your insert. Once you get to insert, you will scroll down to link, click on link. Once you get to link, you will see that a little pop-up uh, bar will come onto your virtual classroom. Then you will go to whatever you want to link. You will grab that linking URL or address. So let's just mm, go to this counting to tens one. One. And we are going to click on share. You are going to copy. Good. Then job, we are going to pause that so we don't hear all of that sound. We are going to go back to our virtual classroom. You are going to Command V if you're on your MacBook or copy and then you will paste on this little bar. You will click apply and voila, it's just that simple. Just that simple. You have now linked your image. You can click anywhere on your virtual classroom to release that editing bar and now that image is clickable. Let's go, you can make every image clickable. Let's do two more. Let's click on the image. You will see the editing blue outline bar. You will, you could actually do it this way. You can go back, kick another video. Let me go ahead and pause that so you don't hear the noise this time or the music. We're gonna actually Take this, copy this address, Command C. We're gonna go back in. We are gonna go down to insert. You're going to click on the link. And then you are going to Command V and hit apply. Release that editing square off of that image and that image is now clickable and then when they click or when your students click on that image it will go to that particular URL address that video. We can go ahead and do the same thing for the rug. Now you see the editing bar is around that rug. You will go ahead find whatever it is that you want to link that has some type of URL address or link you will scroll down, you will click, you will paste, boom, and hit apply. And now that image is now clickable. It is very, very easy. Now let me show you what I would do or what I do do um, once I'm done with my virtual classroom and making the, the images clickable. I go to file, I scroll down to download, and I click PDF. Once I click PDF, oops, then I will save it. I will give it a title. Uh, we'll say virtual classroom just to save time. And I will save it. Once I save it, I then go and I share it with my class or my parents. So you can go to Class Dojo, you can go in Class Story, and you can make it a post. You can upload it as a file, PDF. They can download it and click on the images. It's that simple. It, it, you can send it as an email. They can download it and they will be able to still click on the images. You can go to Seesaw, you can upload it as a PDF, 
um, and they can download it and they can still click on the images. Now what they cannot do is click on the images inside of that class story. They will have to still download it, but hey, they can still download it and have access to the classroom. Now, um, it's even easier uh, well, another easy way, because actually I believe that the PDF is the easiest, but if they have Google Classroom, you can go into Google Classroom, set it up as a linking assignment, and they can just easily go in their Google Classroom and click on your virtual classroom that way as well and have access to clicking on the links. I love this because now you are making your remote learning, your distance learning, your homeschool learning fun for them. You know, just not just giving them a packet or just giving them or uploading a worksheet. The kids loved this. So you can even go on and make a, a, a virtual zoo and make all the animals clickable. You can make a game board. You, it doesn't have to look like a classroom. You can make a virtual game board and make certain pieces on or spaces on your game board clickable and share that. There's so many things that you can do. You can even make some of your images move. I will also be making a video on what it looks like to share it as a PDF, what it looks like to go into Google Classroom and set it up as an activity. But I mean, just sharing it orally with you or verbally with you also helps as well. I hope this video was very helpful for you. You don't have to do anything else um, except remember to go over some quick steps. Click on your image, go to insert, go to link, Control V, paste your uh, URL and hit apply and release that edible box around your image. I hope this is a game changer for you, makes it fun. And until next time, goodbye.